Welcome back guys. In this video I will be showing you how to draw the sectional elevation for this isometric block. Uh, remember the rule states that we do not section web on the elevation. On the elevation, right? On the front elevation, that is. Alright, so if we were to cut this figure here, so look, closer look, we have a web here. And remember that web reinforces our component. So we do not section web on the elevation or when it is cut along the length like this. We only section web if we're to cut it across like this or like this. Yeah? So we do not section web when we cut it along the along the, 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 the broader side per se. Now to draw the front elevation for this. Looking from here, we have this. So here we will see in here, this we will see in also the web, which is in the form of a triangle. And we have this cut over here. That we would not really see when viewed from here. Let's cut over here. And uh, so the, the saw would come in contact with here, there, there, the last section there, all the way there. And of course, please take note that we cut along here, along the center here. So we do not cut this. The saw did not come in contact with this section here, so we do not section it. Yeah, so as you can see, cut starts here, or we only cut from here across through to here. Yeah, we did not cut this section, so we do not section that part of it. And of course, we do not section web on the front elevation. Very important note. Draw the plan for this. Plan would be something like this. That's the plan. So looking from here, we have this edge here, this piece here, which is here. We have the, the, the web looking from above, which is this part. And we have the cutout here, which is what we see here. See here. Now to the, if we flip it like this, we will left with um, the right end elevation. And for this, we have and we have this coming across here. And of course, this cutout right here, this cutout here. And the web, the web, which is viewed from here, the web, this piece right here. Oh, something is missing from this. Something is missing from this piece, guys. They cut out the hole right here. I missed the hole right here.
Yeah, so this is what we see looking from here. Looking from here, we have, this might be a little bit too large. Yeah, so looking from here, this is the right end elevation. So from here, we flip this onto the side, what you see we draw. Here is the scene as a rectangle. This piece right here, here, is this, right here. And the web, the web right here, which is this piece that we see right here, the web from here, and the circle, and here is curve. Now, if we were to go back to this position and we were to flip this around like this, V would have been different. This is at 45 degrees, and we carry this across. This would this be no looking from here, all we're seeing is one solid figure. Looking from this side, one solid block here. We're seeing this circle. We are not seeing the, the web, we're not seeing the web or the thickness or the groove right here. We're not seeing any of those from, from this view. So remember, we use we use section, we use um hidden detail line. To represent things that we cannot see from a particular view. So for this, we use broken line for that. For the cutout, for this little cutout, this cutout right here, this group, we will use broken line again to represent that. And for the web, the web that exists here that we cannot see, the web, we use broken line to represent the web also yeah so looking from here all we're seeing is one solid thing right here but we know that these cutout exist on the rear section so we use broken line to represent them yes and this is the sectional elevation plan and two end elevation for this figure which is also represented here. Again, guys, remember to like and subscribe. You know, it's important that you, you master this topic for you to be able to master mechanical engineering. Sectioning is absolutely necessary. You can't avoid sectioning.